Yo, welcome back. This is the part 6 of gameplay walkthrough of Tales of Arise. Alright guys, I know that on this previous episode um, that I, the videos got cut when I fought the boss. Uh, not the boss, I think a field boss. And yeah, I'll try to not do that the next time because I like... I kind of immersed into the game and didn't saw like how many durations that I got because I mainly like keeping keeping it on one hour record. All right, okay. Like you saw, guys. Um, if you like our videos, man, you no, know, please drop a like to grow our channel and to let our channel to be heard to the rest of the world. All right, and also, should you like? really really like our videos uh, please do subscribe and click that ring button to get the latest notification when a new videos are ready from us too all right let's do this man let's continue where we left off which is like we uh, I previously already defeated that last boss uh, last field boss and yeah let's can you continue from there Let's go, man. Is the blazing sword okay? A little. I'll take you all off! Sonic Thrust! Prime to Life the rest! Huh? This one's mine! You're finished! Dragon Shot! Mirage! Searing Flash! Here I come! It's Take over. aim and blast it's it out of my door! Here I come! Talent Storm! It got fired! I've got this! Let a marksman handle it! Sonic Thrust! All yours! Through its gate! Here I go! Do it! I'll run you through! Eat their talent store! Take this and it's Do over! It. I've used a bit too much healing. <sighs> Normally I don't pick on the weak. No escape! Your wing won't save you from me! Burning? The targeting shield! You're mine! Oh, what you don't want to charge off like that! you going? By the power of water! Gemini Alpha! Do it! You're finished! Rising Wyvern! It's over! You're mine! Have you right up! You're mine! I'm sure I can put this to use.
not much further now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans, yet we rarely take up arms, because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the Lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zugals here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while. So, the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way. I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. 
So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering. How'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed. It's crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. Is it really that big of a difference? Definitely. Calaglia was hot. I can only tell from appearance, so... Uh, uh, achoo! You might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. Seems like it. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with a cold, too. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with... Ha-choo! Was that also a sneeze? I just bit my tongue, that's all. No, it sounded a lot different from mine, but I could swear it was still... It wasn't a sneeze, okay? Ha-choo! Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. Is it hard leaving Calaglia behind? No. Actually, it's kind of a relief to be away from there. Really? What makes you say that? Because it was getting to the point where every man, woman, and child would come up and talk to me like they knew me. I could barely find a moment to breathe, let alone relax. Well, what you did was kind of a big deal, you know. You overthrew a Renan Lord and burst open the gates of fire. Yeah, but that was only because I had the Blazing Sword with me. We wouldn't have made it to Balsef without you and the Crimson Crows, Zephyr. Uh, maybe so. But you're still the one who took him out in the end. It's only natural for people to look up to those who protect them. You're a hero to those people. I never asked to be one. I... I never asked to take the place of a lord in people's minds. I don't want it. You're a strange one, Alfin. That's for sure. <laughs> if that's how you really feel, then hold on to that. Listen to those thoughts when you feel lost and don't know what to do. If you can do that, you won't lose sight of who you are, or what the right path to take is. The right path to take, huh? Notice the Zoogles here are a lot different from what we're used to back in Calaglia. It's because this realm is so cold. I imagine they had to be adapted to fit the climate. Meaning if we hit them with fire arts, it should be extra effective against them. Too much healing.
Normally, I don't pick on the weak. Next. Roger that. Show me what you can do. Burning? Pathetic. Would you like to warm up some? Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that. Hey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just great. All right. Nice. Right. Right.
Happy now, Shion? Yeah, I'd say so. She'd better be, after all she ate. I stopped before I was full, though. What? What's this thing? I think I'll try to make that... Get lost! Swallow blade! Huh? Gemini Over! Huh? By the power You're of mine. the storm! Mirage! Huh? Take this! Here, oh, I'm on it! Huh? 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 Coming. Take huh? this! Huh? Who wants huh? the gun next? Slash! Huh? Seriously! It's for it! are hardly worth our time. Let me know if you're struggling. Whew, what a rush. Try this! 
This is it. Dig deep. Easier said than done. No excuses. This is up to us. Where are you going? Swallow blade. Power of one. Do it. One final push. Let me help. Right. Give them all we got. Well, take a look at that. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Houses in a place like this. People really live all the way out here? The whole area is just little villages. This one's Messia 224. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Oh, that's rich, coming from the Bright Eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place! But she started it! Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. <laughs> now, what's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's head, and nothing more. That go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms. Being your own master. Thinking and making decisions for yourself, and being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Yeah, I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going, and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? Looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Sisloden. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. You've... you've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? Damn those Renans. I hate seeing Danans suffer-
silence embedded. Anyone who fails to cooperate will be arrested and tried as a traitor to the realm. <sighs> Damn it. Some rat must have sold us out again. You there! You want me to haul you up on suspicion of civil disobedience? But, but I didn't! Ah! What? Leave him alone! <sighs> An embedded dares defy the orders of his lordship! Know your place, slave! We can't use the Blazing Sword this close to the villagers. They could get hurt. But there are too many agents. Zephyr? Law? Is that you? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. What are you doing here? The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Law. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship! Zephyr? What the hell? Zephyr! Here they come! Fall back! Damn it! Away! Release! I'm going in! You picked the wrong Locked fight! Rising Wyvern! Don't find someone else to pick on! going on, Zephyr? Why won't you fight him? Is that soldier someone you know? Don't hurt him. Huh? What are you... Please. It won't work, you know. My son. Oh, so now you remember me. The nerve of you. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all. What in hell? Enemy reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Suffer! Go. Leave without me. You can't... I'm not leaving without him. Alfin, there's no time. But what about the resistance? Everyone's counting on you. Forgive me. <laughs> We've waited all night, but nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? 
You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. If he's under arrest, they'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find him in that village of all places. Some coincidence, huh? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Like hell I am! No, of course not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called bright eyes after all. Sorry. You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. A long time ago, my family, my people, were once known as mages. A Danon mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a long, long time. Even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. They lived hidden away all these centuries, keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was... Danon Astral Arts. If the Renans knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey! What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? I'm a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lords, okay? Which is no doubt what her people want too. Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. Makes sense for who? Us? Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, right? If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. I don't want anyone else to die. Are you sure? Then let's get back to the village. We need to find out what happened. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm surprised how dark out it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still night after all. No, that's what's weird. A lot of time's passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, basically? It's always night in this realm. Huh? It's been that way forever. It never gets any brighter outside, even in the morning. So it's always dark all day long? But how? 
How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did. It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word for it. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first. I wonder how Zephyr's doing. If that law guy is his son, they shouldn't be rough with him. I want to believe that. But those two didn't look like they're exactly on good terms. Actually, now I'm curious. Can Danans enlist in the Snake Eyes too? Definitely. They're useful for surveillance here. Doesn't win you many friends on either side, though. So why Zephyr's kid working for the Renans, then? All of creation across the heavens stems from the six essences. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus, to achieve perfection... What are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic incantation. An incantation? Is it anything like the spells that people use today? Not quite. It takes time for me to finish my chants, so I'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately. You know, just in case. I've always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? <gasps> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive topic. It's okay. So, uh, about my magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah. Sorry. A little late for that after what happened in the village, don't you think? Uh. Easy, Shion. It's just... Hmm? I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. Sure. <laughs> Is that owl okay? It's been stiff as a board for a while now. You're right. I wonder what's up with it. Come here. It's okay. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Crap! Huh? What happened? I hate to say this, Rinwell, but I lost Hoodle. I didn't mean to scare him, but he took off. Hoodle? He's right next to you. He is? All I see is snow. Dan and Owls conceal themselves when they feel threatened. I guess he's still not quite used to being around other people yet. That would explain it. I should have been more careful with him. Sorry. It's fine. I'm the only human he's comfortable with. Come here, Hoodle. Huh. Damn, he was that close? He's just a little wary of you. I think he gets that you're going to be with us for a while, though. Step in the right direction. If you call his name, he might eventually respond, at least. Got it. Thanks. At least he's not sick or something. Indeed. That's quite a relief. Hmm...
Raging Enemies who can cast Astral Arts can be pretty difficult. Not only are they powerful, but their range lets them strike us before we even get close. Actually, I can just disrupt Astral Arts. What do you mean? When someone is casting an art, their focus has to be entirely on the incantation. So right when they're completing the casting, I just kind of steal it from them. Really? Then what do you do with the energy you've stolen? I hold on to it and use it whenever I want, like I can with my own magic. The thing is, I can only unleash that art once. After I use it, it's gone. Oh, also, when I steal astral energy, the enemy will lose focus, which means they can't cast anything else for a while. So not only can you steal their energy, but doing so incapacitates them too? That's amazing, Rinwell. I didn't realize your magic could do so much. It's actually something of a secret technique within my clan, so I kind of had to learn it. Well, if we come across any tough enemies that use incantations, I'm sure that power of yours will come in real handy. Yeah, it's tricky to pull off, but you can count on me. Hey, Rinwell, do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah, they don't really add any extra power or anything. But reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. It's eerily quiet. No sign of Zephyr. You think they took him away already? What say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers? Someone's bound to report us no matter what we do. So we might as well. Hey, Shion! What? You heard her. She's got a point. Our cover was blown last night. Where's the sense in sneaking around? And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax, the coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? Let's try talking to the villagers. <sighs> Hmm. 
I guess. Great! Huh? Huh? Messia 224. Now that's a weird name. Messia is basically a code. It indicates it's a small village. So it's not its actual name? Then does that mean that 224 is... Yeah. It's merely a serial number assigned to it for administrative purposes. So the Renans even get to decide what places are called out in this realm. Huh? Hey. Ugh. Sure. <sighs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah! You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. one of Hoodle's friends. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. All right. What? Good. Using zoogles to make drinks. That takes guts. No one would have come up. Okay. You're the friends of that man the bureau agents took away. Please, leave us alone. We don't want any trouble. No. <laughs> Answer our questions and we'll leave you in peace. Where did the agents take our friend? Si... Sisloden. The capital. That's what they said. I knew it. 
What did we ever do to deserve this? We haven't even crossed the street without looking first. Why are they Shh. after us? Come on, we're wasting time. You'll need to hurry if you want to get your friend back. Not a single person who's been taken to Cisladin has ever returned. Hey, keep quiet. You're trying to get us all killed. Out of hell with that. Go on, report me. See if I care. I thought this Cisladin was a city. Is it a prison camp? It's the realm's capital. Though when you're forbidden to move freely like we are, there isn't much difference. My parents and siblings were taken by the Snake Eyes. I haven't heard from any of them since. For all I know, they're long dead by now. Anyway, go! And kill as many Snake Eyes as you can for me while you're there! All right. To Cisloden it is. People are really terrified of the Snake Eyes. They've got them jumping at their own shadows. They may be Lord Ganabelt's lackeys, but for all intents and purposes, it's the Snake Eyes who control the realm. One wrong look, and your history. So Zephyr's being moved to Cisladin. Let's cross our fingers we catch up with him on the way. I mean, the plan was always for me to take you guys to Cisladin anyway. But a word of advice. Oh? There's a forest we have to pass through on our way there. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. More Zugals? Wild ones at that. They hunt in packs led by the biggest, meanest one. My friends and I got cornered by one on our way to Calaglia. That's how we got split up. We'll just have to keep our wits about us then. <laughs> 